we should be doing everything we can to increase the vote, yeah. not to suppress it. Look at what they're doing in North Dakota mm -hmm. with Native Americans, mm -hmm. saying that if you don't have a certain street address, then you can't vote. Well, post by, they, post on reservations, they don't have that, That's and right. they know that. They're trying to reduce the vote. Look at what they have done in Georgia. Mm -hmm. 53,000 people, 70% of whom are African Americans, may not be able to vote based on this bogus law that they've passed to say that, well, if, if Wendell Anthony spells his name W-E-N-D-E-L-L, -L, and for some reason it's W-E-N-D-A-L-L, -L, he can't vote. Right. Now, what is that about? And 70% of them are African Americans. Same kind of situation, suppressing the vote in Wisconsin, mm -hmm. in Indiana, and Ohio. America, you're wrong. We can do better than that. And we're simply saying that we must match our determination by their indignation and intimidation. We must take our souls to the polls. Yeah. We're asking people to come out and work with us. We're going to be doing this on October the 27th, every Saturday from 12 until 4. You'll see a big uh, motorhome. You'll hear music. People will be walking the blocks, canvassing, knocking on doors, saying, please come back to the voting booth. We need you. We don't want people to think that they're not important because ain't nobody asked them to vote. <laughs> We're asking everybody to vote. Yeah. We need you to vote. Your vote is your voice.